about to share some vegan, slim and sustained secrets with you. This is what my clients, the inside circle, get to hear about the good stuff, the magic sauce. If you're in a plateau, it's unbelievable what fine margins will actually do to get you out of that plateau. It really doesn't take a lot. If your weight loss is at standstill right now and you're simply, you think you're doing everything right, you're being really consistent, the scale isn't moving, it's unbelievable what just a couple of minor changes, maybe even just one minor change in your daily diet, what that will do to get that scale budging. And people always overreact when they plateau. They're like, oh, now I need to do intermittent fasting. So they skip out a whole meal, taking like four, five, six, seven hundred calories off their diet like that. Way too aggressive, way too severe um, and risk being ravenous as a result. Um, or I don't know, oh, I need to do a detox now, a juice fast. And then they go to like some a thousand calorie diet or something absurd. You don't need any of this nonsense. My clients will attest to this. You need a minor, minor change in your diet to get that weight moving again. And then in a month, couple of months' time, you'll probably hit another plateau. But it's par for the course. It doesn't mean your body's broken or that you stopped. You just need to keep making changes as your body loses weight and therefore requires more, less, fewer, excuse me, I should say, fewer calories at maintenance. Now, the reason that I've got these next to me, you might be thinking, Ryan, what are we doing with these little props here, the little plant milks? Don't keep them out of the fridge. They're getting warm as I rant away in usual Ryan Adams fashion. Well, this is one such example of the fine margins changes you can make. We've got our unsweetened oak, oat milk here, excuse me, which clocks in. Of course, it's going to be different based on brands, but this is about what oat milk tends to be. Unsweetened oat milk tends to be across the board in the UK at least. Per 100 milliliters, you're looking at around 40 calories for this one. This is soy milk here. This is slightly sweetened, admittedly, but again, from knowing, from doing this for so long, looking at the back of these packets for so, so long, this measures up to about right even for the unsweetened. Per 100 mil, this is 42 calories. Okay, so these are actually pretty similar, but we can compare this. There's a slight difference between them, but they're similar enough, right? But we can compare this, of course, to almond milk, unsweetened, which tends to clock in at somewhere between about 21 calories per 100 mil and maybe maximum something like 26, even the sweetened versions. So that's almost half of both of these little guys over here, just from switching to a plant milk. Now, you might think, well, that's only a you know, 40-ish here, 40-ish here, that's only a 20-calorie saving versus the almond milk over 100 mil. That's not enough. But if you're adding a little bit of this to your oatmeal, to your cereal, if you're putting this, a splash of this in your teas and your coffees every day, a couple of times a day, if you're adding this to your smoothies, you might be doing 250 mil, which is slightly over a cup for my friends across the pond. You might be doing two cups. You might be doing 500 mil over the, you know, over the course of the day of almond, of plant milk, excuse me. And therefore, the difference between using these bad boys and something like unsweetened almond milk, that could save you 50, 60, 70, 80, even max. This is a push, admittedly, 100 calories over the day. That is certainly enough in many cases to get you out of a plateau. So a little pro tip here there. Isn't it amazing? Switching up your plant milk, still having the same quantity, could be enough to actually get you through a plateau right now. That's just one example of how little it actually takes to get you off a standstill, off a stall, on the scale. Hope this helps you out, but as always, if you need more help from me and you want one-on-one -on -one support to lose 15 to 25 pounds in the next 12 weeks with zero counting calories, simple vegan meals only, check out veganslimandsustain.com. Fill out the form there to learn more about my Vegan Slim and Sustain program. The link is down below, but that's veganslimandsustain.com. See you in the next one.